Okay. Gotta find a way to close this thing. All right. So here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna bring out a tray of ingredients. Each chef is gonna have five minutes to get this going. Mix, fit it in the bowl. Do not pour the milk, right? Otherwise, if it's taking time bomb, you're just gonna get a bowl of mush. That's not delicious. We've got three milk choices. We've got coconut, almond, and whole milk. We've got friendly bees. And we're gonna be more friendly when the food comes around. And then you guys are just gonna go to town and get a banter and talk through. Okay? Are you nervous? Bring it out to the doctor, Tia. Jonah? Steady? Jonah's chilling. How many minutes? We've got five minutes. Right? Are you ready? Alright, let's, let's bring up the trays of food and get this going. Let's get some noise going out there for these guys. Okay. As we start to look, we're going to go one, two, three, up, 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 then, then, then. The baker, always getting your missing pots out and ready to go because everything's time. Okay. Everybody ready? Let's start the clock. Yes. Cereal behind you. You're going to make five bowls. Trays are ready behind you. Okay? You make sure the judges have spoons. You don't have to worry about spoons. Okay? In three, two, Start the clock. Right, so we've got two people going for fits on the first go. Five fits. Five fits. Because they're fucking delicious. That's what he says. Diana, do you have a different response? Because they're pretty. They're fantastic. So they're fucking delicious and pretty. I got the knife skills going on here. Taking the skin over here. What do we start with, Ron? Why the fire? You don't think there's enough heat? See the bees and the honey? Are you going to use honey? Yes, I am. Are you allergic to bees? Yes, I am. Are you going to eat this in case? We got you. Okay, let's take the bees. Bees and honey. We'll take over to the judges' table. This is a gift from Diana. Here we go, here we go. Okay, there we go. Let the baby attracted to that. Okay, so we have a little of danger here coming from the bees. We can release the next swarm. It's kind of like uh, hunger games. Have we started thinking about cereal yet, chefs? What do we got going on down there? What are those? Oh, yeah, look at that. We have some improvisation going on in the ingredient bin. Alright, let's meet the judges, because now that we have a rule breaker, I think it's important to meet the rule enforcers. So Diana just grabbed toasted coconut off the back shelf, which was not one of the tray ingredients. Why don't you introduce yourself and say whether or not that's going to help her or hurt her in the so you'll take flavor over following the rules. Good. <laughs> also, she's taking the band you're doing great. You're two for five right now. Let's do the last three, sir. I'm Olivia, and I've shrunk this like. And she said under her breast, she hates the rule breaker. So, Ann and Jonah, that's going to be in your favor. I'm Yasmin, and I'm having a bit of a coconut renaissance. I used to hate coconut, and now I'm feeling like it's back up, and I'm trying to like it more. I'm trying to do it. I'm Richard, and I'm neutral. So, we've got three, four, one neutral, one against you. Just a little tap here. Okay. Ron, can you tell us, growing up in Haiti, did you eat a lot of cereal as a kid? Yes, you do. Definitely, we cook cereal. Tell me about it. I get oatmeal, I get constructed oatmeal. Any Kellogg's products or your fitness growing up? No, not that I cry. Were they not in Haiti? Too expensive, couldn't afford it. Too expensive in Haiti. I will have to work 
We're going to make that happen in And Jonah. Oh, man, how did you eat a lot of cereal as a kid? What did you eat? And so as you look back at this wall of cereal, what did you grab? Uh, what did I grab? Special K. Why'd you pick that one? I don't know. <laughs> you're just instinctively, you're just instinctively going this. I like that. I like that. Alright, let's do some, some trivia. Any Kellogg's history buffs here? Anybody know where the company originated? In the South. In the South? Nope. Michigan. Michigan. Yeah, and he's, but he specifically know the town. It's the cereal capital of the world. Battle Creek. Creek, Michigan. So that, uh, uh, a lot of history. Andy Shrip is from Kellogg's. He's my partner in the Kellogg's cereal bar, so I've learned a ton about the company. Um, and I've got a Queen of the Tiger temporary tattoo. There was another character. Besides Tony the Tiger, that was on the Frosted Flakes box. It was an animal. I might be found it now. Anybody know who it was or what type of animal it was? For a Tony the Tiger temporary tattoo. It was not a bear. It was a marsupial. Tell me what a marsupial is. A kangaroo. There was a kangaroo who was Tony the Tiger's partner. They never actually know what happened to him. So perhaps, who knows? You can, you can figure out what Tony did with the kangaroo. Maybe you got a little hungry. All right, guys, we got 10 seconds. Let's get cereals in the bowl. We'll give you 10 seconds. We'll give you a 10 second extension. Nine, eight, seven, 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 <laughs> six, five, four. We actually don't need the radius drama here to like have somebody kicked off because they didn't complete their bowl. Like, <laughs> shows this, so we're going to be a little generous here and bend the rules because food keeps going in the bowl. So we're going to give six more seconds. Ten, Ten. nine, <laughs> eight, seven. Six. Look at that action. We got cameras on that action? Look at that wrist action. How can you not let that happen? We got stick placement happening. Everybody noticed the baker is completely done and on time. The internal clock. Intuition. Alright, can we do five seconds? Jonas Don, he's still chill. Bronze chin. Strawberries going on top. Okay, if Jonas red. And hands up. Yeah. Okay, get a round of applause. So here's what we're going to do. Let's get your bowls up in front of the counter so everybody can see it. We can start it. We're going to start with Donna Ryder. You can put your bowl up here. I'll get somebody to help you. Can we all do almond milk for the chef's recommendation? Cool, we got an almond milk. All right, so let's replay that. We've got Special K, Kellogg's Special K. We've got Fresh Fizz, a Dope, Dark, Molasses, Candy Ginger, and Seth Seeds. All right, let's get the almond milk over there. And so the judges are going to go through, they're going to rate all of the bowls on points, and then we're going to announce the winner. So let's get some of these reactions. Nice milk for them. Jonah, how do you feel about your bowl? Confident? Yeah. Yeah, you look just chill, man, huh? I keep losing. Okay. 